Um, I'm Julie Troyer, the youth pastor here, and um, God's been doing a lot of amazing things in our youth ministry this year. Um, he's really um, just um, worked great through the teenagers, and they're really just taking a hold of God, and they're bringing it into their schools and um, starting great life groups and um, having many um, new faces come every week to our youth services. Um, we've had to move our youth services down here into the main sanctuary because we've been running um, about 300 teenagers every week in the youth ministry. Um, and the great blessing about that is um, I always say there's about 75 to 80 percent of those kids who are here on their own free will without parents forcing them to come. And it's because God is changing their lives and they're really seeing a big difference um, happen here every Wednesday in the youth services. And um, it's just flowing over into families and, um, and uh, watching parents get saved, parents get baptized. And, um, you know, so just 2009 has been a really great year in the youth ministry with the teenagers. Uh, one of the great events that we do um, every year in the youth ministry is an event called Truth or Dare. Truth or Dare is a youth outreach event with a strong evangelistic emphasis that was started in 2002. We are more than proud to say that at this year's Truth or Dare, we had approximately 1,075 people in attendance. Unfortunately, this year we had to turn some people away because of a lack of room in the big gym. But we already know that God has bigger and greater plans for Truth or Dare 2010. In spite of having to turn some away, God moved because we had over 100 people respond during the decision time, some of which were people who were saved for the first time, others recommitting their lives, and many looking for help with their addictions and struggles in life. One of the reasons that we believe why God is moving so mightily within the youth ministry and touching so many lives is because of outreaches like Truth or Dare, but also because we offer over 30 teen life groups on a weekly basis, with 18 of those groups taking place on school campuses such as Bonneville, Crescent City, Riverdale, EJ, Grace King, Chappelle, Brother Martin, and T.H. Harris, which all are being led by the teenagers themselves. We are so blessed that God chooses us to be his hands and feet through the ministry of Celebration Church. And as a youth pastor of this great church, I am equally blessed to help shepherd the awesome teenagers in this youth ministry, as well as work alongside some of the most passionate and dedicated youth leaders in the world. They help to create this youth ministry, promote this youth ministry, carry this youth ministry, and they make God's vision become a reality. I love you guys. Thank you so much for carrying this ministry with me. Um, I can't wait to see what God's going to do through all of us in the year 2010. And remember, the sky's the limit. Hi, my name is Julie Boudreaux, and I'm the children's minister here at Celebration Church. And at Celebration Church, we love children. We actually like to teach children three things, to learn about Jesus, to live for Jesus, and here's the best part, to let others know about Jesus. From our very young children in our downtown ministry, all the way up to our fourth graders in our uptown ministry, we want them to have fun in a real and relevant way. Through Bible study, we have fun at Kids Can, through uh, our, our famous Fall Family Festival, we have backyard Bible clubs and small groups and worship. It, the fun never stops in our uptown and downtown ministry called Kids Town. And we want to invite you to get to be a part of that because that's where we know we can change children's lives forever. As a matter of fact, in 2010, we're going to be launching life groups in school campuses run and led by children. Isn't that an awesome opportunity for us to reach children all over the city? So I thank you for partnering with us and I'm looking so forward to 2010 when we know we can change a child's life from the very young and grow them up to be fully devoted followers of Christ. My name is John Frady. I'm the worship services coordinator for Celebration Church. I'm really proud of the, of the work that our worship teams have done uh, at all of our campuses this past year in 2009. Our St. Bernard campus has really set the pace for the rest of us as far as in their set design and creating an atmosphere of worship. And our River Parish campus has raised their level of worship to, to heights that they've never been to before. And our here at our Metairie campus, our Saturday evening service, they continue to be a cutting edge service. In fact, they've even multiplied into two services this past year because of all the people that were coming. Our Sunday morning services, a more eclectic New Orleans sound has been going really well. And I'm really proud of those people here at our Metairie campus. And our youth services at our Metairie campus have been going great as well, attracting you know hundreds of teenagers on Wednesday night, rivaling that of any youth service really in the state and the whole region. And so I'm really, I'm really proud of them and the development they put into developing other 
worship leaders and artists and choir members and, and uh, instrumentalists and just people all over who have really who really worked together to make a service happen. Audio technicians, you know, a dramatist, all of the types of people that really work together for that. Our Club 56 ministry has, with our fifth and sixth graders, they've raised up worship leaders for that ministry and also for our Uptown Children's Church uh, ministry as well. And all three of our Celebrate Recovery services at the Metairie Campus, St. Bernard and River Parishes are really developing in their worship leading capacities. I just want to say thank you guys. If you're listening right now, I just want to say thank you for all that you've done. May God bless you in this next year.